Hey, hello friends. How are you today? I am excited that you're here. Welcome. I'm just going to give everyone that's watching live just a moment to catch up here and find the live. I'm really excited that you're joining me today because I have new products, samples, tips, ideas, tips on how I store my new products, um, lots of goodies for you today. So this is Patty Bennett. I blog at pattystamps.com and I am an independent Stampin' Up! demonstrator. I've been a demonstrator for 26 years and I am very excited to uh, get a new catalog every time it comes out and then excited to share new goodies with you. So while you are just finding me live, say hi and I have a question for you. As you are joining in, tell me the last um, like event or occasion that you made a card for. Did you make a birthday card? Did you have to make a sympathy card? Did you uh, make an anniversary card, a wedding card? Uh, did you make a project for a party? Did you do, you know, what? whatever. I'm just curious. What did you stamp last? I am just wondering what everybody created. Just checking, yep, we are in the right place. Hi, Christy, Pamela, Robin, Sonia, Ruby, Patricia, Amy, so many people joining. Hi, so good to see you. Thank you for jumping on. This is a part of my weekly Friday live series. Fridays at 11 a.m. Pacific time, I come to you live here on my Facebook page. Now, if you are watching a replay, you might be seeing this on my blog or my YouTube channel, and that's awesome as well. But if you are watching live, you're going to see a little red live button in the corner, and that means I can see your comments and questions live. So thank you. I asked, if you missed the very beginning, I was asking what was the last thing that you created, like stamping wise? Did you make a birthday card? I'm seeing thank you, Christmas, baptism. Uh, birthday, thank you, birthday, anniversary, sympathy, oh, I'm sorry, Ruby. Um, yeah, just curious. I was just wondering what everybody was up to, what they were making. Birthday card for your son-in-law, Shauna, that's awesome. Birthday card, Cynthia. Awesome. Tracy made a birthday card for her brother's birthday today. Oh, my husband's birthday was yesterday, so there are almost twins. <laughs> Hi, Leticia. Hey, everybody. So we are at the top of the hour, so we are going to get started. And I am so excited to show you some things. My desk is like piled with stuff over here to show you. We are going to be talking about the upcoming Stampin' Up! mini catalog. Now, I'm old school. I still call this the holiday catalog. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but, um, sorry, Marcy, I didn't know what that was about. She said, wow, 65. Um, that must have been answering somebody else. Anyway, sorry, sidetracked reading the comments there. So we're talking about this catalog. It was supposed to come out in July, and that's why the front says July, but Stampin' Up! had to postpone it because we didn't have some of the products in stock yet because of COVID reasons and shipping delays and that kind of thing. So it's actually, the dates are on the back, and it says August 3rd on the back. And then also starting August 3rd is celebration. Now this is kind of fun because I, at least in, in my recollection, in my 26 years of being a demonstrator, we have not had a second celebration. It's always been like January, February or January, February, March or February, March. It's always been at the beginning of the year. And now we have it in August and September. Again, all new stuff in here. So if you are one of my customers, you should have received yours in the mail. Now, I, I just heard from somebody yesterday. She had not received it. But I am hoping that if you are one of my customers, you've received them because I mailed them over a week ago. And hopefully it won't take more than a week to get to everybody. But um, if you don't have a, a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, 
you can click over onto my blog, pattystamps.com, and at the top there is a section that says catalogs, and there's a drop-down menu for you to request catalogs. So if you don't already work with a demonstrator and you would like to work with me and place your orders through me and let me help you with your projects and your questions, then I would be happy to send you catalogs. So that's how that works. So today I'm going to show you some of my favorites from these two catalogs. I'm also going to share with you some organizing tips, what I do when my new product comes in. I'm going to share some samples with you and uh, just give you some just sort of heads up and tips about some of the products that, uh, you know, maybe you had a question about or maybe you missed something. So if you have questions while we go, I'm going to be glancing over here at my iPad. I will try to catch your questions. And if I miss something, I'll pause partway through and ask you for questions. So if I missed your question, please uh, feel free to, you know, retype it because um, I sometimes they go so fast and I can't just can't catch them all like, whoa. So let's start with some of my very favorites in, I'm just going to call it the holiday catalog, okay? It's um, officially July to December 2021 mini catalog. That's too many words. I'm calling it the holiday catalog. It has fall, Halloween, all occasion, and Christmas in it. And it is fabulous. It has how many pages? 79 pages of awesomeness. And I have to tell you, hands down, and this is no surprise if you know me, my favorite is the penguin. I love it. I love penguins. My son and I just have a thing about penguins. Our whole house and Christmas tree and everything at Christmas is decorated with penguins. We have so many. So without a doubt, this is my favorite. I have shared with you a few projects and I have a couple more that you probably haven't seen. Uh, this is just a little box that I created and you might sort of recognize it. It's actually the tombstone box in the Halloween section and I just cut off the little part that goes up here like a tombstone. So you have a belly band that will slip off with the ribbon so you can just take the whole thing off. And then you can open it up and you can put your treat inside. So instead of having it have the top of a tombstone, I just made it into a box. And then what's, hang on, I can't talk and do this at the same time. <laughs> okay, so there's the belly band back on. So what's really cute about this penguin set is that it also has birthday and thanks. And I like you, be cool, be chill, be merry, coolest kid ever. So it's not just like winter and Christmas. And so I made this into a little birthday gifty because it says, can you see? It, I know it's backwards, but it says happy birthday and it has the penguin and his little gifties on there. So that's one thing I made with it. There is also a punch that coordinates and... Oh, man, I just ripped my penguin. <laughs> it was stuck. Anyway, so if you punch a bunch of them, then you can put your punched images into the punch. I'm just going to line it up and show you. So you could stamp your penguins and punch them out. Or you can punch black and white. And then you can use the stamps to actually finish up your penguin. So here's a cute little two from tag idea. Isn't that cute? I love it. I love the little accessory items in the um, stamp set. So I thought that was kind of fun. And I think I blogged this one as a sneak peek. So just Mr. and Mrs. Penguin wishing you a Merry Christmas. Isn't that cute? Love that. And then I just this week blogged my pinwheel penguin card. So adorable. So adorable. That's on my blog if you need more details on that. And uh, that one uses the Penguin Playmates paper. Now this is super cute because it has six sheets of penguins, 
foxes, um, polar bears. Aren't they cute? Look at all those. So many. You get six different pattern sheets of that. And then on the back, you have some prints, like some solid prints and colors and stripes and Christmas trees on that one. So this, the good news is, is a free item in celebration. So here's the great news is that you could get the Penguin Place Bundle the stamp set and the punch, and you could get a couple of other items, and then your order would be up to $50, and you could get this free. I may have several packs of this already because it's the cutest ever. My son took one look at this, and he says, tell Stampin' Up, best paper, best stamp set ever. And then he says, Mom, I assume that means that I am going to be getting lots of penguin cards for the rest of my life. I'm like, you bet. <laughs> so fun, right? So, so, so fun. Love it, love it, love it. So, so cute. Okay, I'm putting the done stuff over here so that I don't get confused. <laughs> it is cute DSP, isn't it? Uh, what? Oh, oh, thank you, Marcy. So, yes, you're asking about right here the, the brushes. So that reminds me, several of the things I'm going to show you today, well, maybe not several, some of the things I have organized from Stampin' Storage. They are a company that does uh, storage items. So like my cases back here for my paper and my DSP, I have my racks in front of me for my ink pads, um, things like that. It's all from Stampin' Storage. And so that rack is as well. And I have a separate post on that. So here's my tip for you. Um, I will link this when the video is done, but if you're anxious, you need to go look. <laughs> if you hop over to my blog, pattystamps.com, patty with a Y, and up at the top, it says my craft room. If you click that, there are lots and lots and lots of links for all of these storage things, whether it's stamp and storage or not. I always link to these things so that you can find them as well. So there is a link there that says blending brush stand or, or blending brush holder, one of the two. And yeah, it's from them. Now I spray painted it because normally their stuff is all just plain wood. I mean, that's how it comes to you. And I thought about painting those racks and things. I was too anxious to put them in my room when they came. I didn't want to take time to paint them, so they've never been painted. But I did spray paint that, and the info on that is on my blog, like I said, under Patty's Craft Room, I think. That's what it says at the top. So, yeah, thank you for, um, yeah, thank you for uh, uh, helping that comment come back up. I appreciate it. Okay, see, I was so excited about the penguins. Um, oh, and so speaking of the penguins, I just wanted to show you one thing. One of the sets uh, with a die set, so it's a bundle, in the mini catalog is this polar bear. It's called Arctic Bears. And so it has the polar bears and like these ice caps and whatnot. And it has these dies. And at first I was like, well, I, you know, maybe I'm not sure if I need polar bears. But then somebody said to me to use this. And these pieces with the penguins. So this is like icicles hanging down, like in a cave. So I was like, oh my gosh. And then the penguins could be hanging out on these cliffs and whatnot. So I was like, oh my gosh, right? So yeah. And I just saw somebody was uh, mentioning the magnet die holders. So yes, this is from Stampin' Storage. This is how I store my dies. So this is a magnet card. And this is the the envelope holder. These magnet cards are on sale for 25%, wait, 20, it's 20 or 25%. And I put a link to that here on this page this morning. So when we're done, if you stay on my page and you scroll back a couple of posts this morning, I have a link right to these magnet cards for the sale price. You don't need a coupon code. It'll just pop up when you check out. Okay, 
So what I like to do when they come from Stampin' Up! is I take them out of the envelopes that Stampin' Up! ships them in. I put them on the magnet cards. I label them down here, and I make a second label for this tab. Now I want to show you these pockets that Stampin' Storage also sells. You can see that they have like a notch so that one side is shorter than the other. Now, most people, and me included when I got it, would think that it would go this way with the notch in the front. But somebody told me, and i sorry, I don't remember who, if you flip it around and then you put your magnet card inside with your dies, everything right here is protected. And you know how a lot of times, let me see if I have one here. Uh, that's sort of a good example. I bet I have a better example. Please hold. Okay, so here's an example. So do you see how I have some smaller dies here up at the top? So if that notch comes down like this, then these are like exposed. And when you're taking things in and out and handling them and they're on your desk, if those just like pop out because you have that notch, then they can get lost or they could like slip into a different pocket. So I always put the full side up to the top and I just label that side of the tab. So that's just a little tip for you about um, actually storing them. Sorry, I have to get this back in the right spot so that I can talk to you about that set in a minute. But anyway, yeah, so these are on sale. If you want to use my link right to the sale, you can do that. So you just um, scroll back on this page, and I will link it when this video is done. But anyway, that was my thought process about the polar bears. That was kind of a, you know, at first, mm, don't know, and then I was like, oh, wait, I can use them with the penguins. <laughs> so fun. So uh, just one other... One other thing here that I wanted to say before I show you more bundles. And I know these are backwards. This is just what Samsung phones do. I apologize. I cannot change this. But let me show you. There are so many stamp sets that are greeting sets in this mini catalog. And of course, there are lots of sets that have images and greetings. But look. Look at all of these sets with all these great greetings and they have different fonts and styles and feels and some of them are more whimsical, some of them are more um, formal maybe. Oh, like, like that one, that's beautiful but a little more formal and then this one is a little more kind of whimsical with that font. So I just wanted to point that out that I think in the past, there have not been this many sets that are just really great greetings. And then like this one, these are nice and big. I've been wanting some bigger ones so that you can just like, you know, stamp that and then stamp one thing and you're kind of done. So anyway, that's just something that I wanted to point out. Let me see if... Oh, yes. And so Jennifer was saying she puts how many dies are in it. So I wanted to show you what I do. Instead of making the label bigger with how many dies and whatnot, I just put that piece from the Stampin' Up! packaging in the back. So it's actually just scotch taped on. And it says how many dies are in it and the name of it and the um, item code. So I just store that on the back side of it. And then I don't have to have like more info on my label. So that's just how I do it, but it um, just, you know, kind of a tip for you. So that's that. Now let's go on. Did I miss any questions? Hi, Dorothy. Hi, Margaret. Marcy says, how did I miss heartfelt wishes? Is that, was that one of the ones I just showed you? Yes. Heartfelt wishes. Oh my gosh. So gorgeous. Yeah. Don't miss that one, Marcy. All right, let's see, any other, did I miss a question? Can somebody let me know? Oh yes, good, Tammy likes the tip about the um, the full side of the storage envelope on the front because she has lost, yeah, some dies. Yes, six by seven, thank you for asking. So six by seven magnet sheets are what fit in these pockets just perfectly. 
Yeah, Amy, I switched mine around as well because I when I was taking them like okay, can you see right there that that box? So I have a whole I don't know which way to point. <laughs> it's so weird because you're watching yourself backwards. So that whole counter back there is full of those wooden boxes from Stamp and Storage and they have all my dies and my um my embossing folders in them. And so when you're like doing this, right, and you're taking them in and out and whatnot, if you have that notch here, a die like this can easily pop off. So yeah, it's a it's a really good way to um, switch yours around and store your sheets that way. All right, let's see. Oh, good idea. Tracing your dies onto here with a Sharpie so that you know if one is missing. I love that. Yes, Sandra, the magnet sheets are great. They are wonderful. Okay. Oh, good. Mary is getting lots of great suggestions. Good. And I just thought of one more thing and then it went right out. Oh, yeah. So the <laughs> so many things to tell you. <laughs> so the other thing I just wanted to tell you that I personally do that helps me and, you know, to each their own. This You may just think like, what the heck? Why, why is she, you know, whatever. Anyway, just want to show you. So when I get my new catalog and my new dies, so you see I've got them organized all onto my magnet sheets into the pockets, right? So when I have my new ones, I keep them, let's see, can you see it? You can right there. Okay. Right there. It's, it's a napkin holder. So it's like, you know, it's like this, like just a, um, acrylic napkin holder so that these can just sit in there like that. So what I do is I keep all my new dies right there and I probably should just go ahead and get another one of those boxes to put here. But, but at the time I just, I was at Staples and I just bought this like file holder, napkin holder thing. Anyway, I put them right there because while I'm sitting here working, they're like in my sight and I know that the new things are right there and I'm way more likely to use them if they're sitting right there. When they get put back here behind me in all those boxes and they're like in storage sort of, <laughs> I tend to forget about them. So I was finding that a catalog would like come and go and the products would retire. And I was like, I never used that. And it made me so sad. So this way with my new dies right here and then in front of me here, I have a stamp and storage case that has all my new stamps. I find that between that and the dies, and I also actually have new embossing folders there as well then I tend to use them more. And once I've used them several times, or like say that I've, I'm using Halloween and then Halloween is kind of done, I will move them back to that wall. And you can see right up here, I have shelves of stamp sets. And then, like I said, the dies and the embossing folders are in boxes back there. So then, you know, they're kind of like, okay, I'm kind of done with them for a while. I can still, of course, go pull it off the shelf. But I just wanted to show you that that is something that helps me to use my products because, yeah, I don't know about you, but isn't it just the saddest thing when, at least for a business demonstrator, when your products retire and then you were like, oh man, I didn't get to use that or I only used it once. And I realize not everybody is in that boat. I know some of you keep things like forever and that's a sort of a different story and that's fine as well. But as a business demonstrator, I try to only use current products that I can advertise and sell. Louise is asking, do I keep some retired ones? I tend to keep more of my dyes than anything else, like stars or circles or uh, labels, things like that, or like little boxes, um, those are the types of dies that I tend to keep. Um, not a ton, but if I think, you know, I might use this for an upcoming, you know, party event, whatever. Yeah, I do keep some of them. Let's see. Oh, okay. I, I'm going to get back to that comment. 
That's a good idea, too. Cheryl is saying that she labels also the catalog it's from and the page number and the item number. That is a great idea. Great idea. Uh, let's see. And so Tammy is saying that she struggles with the annual catalog stamps when a mini catalog comes out. Yes, um, that's a struggle as well. But same thing. I'm keeping some of the annual dies here, annual catalog dies, and annual catalog stamp sets right in front of me that I know I still want to use. So it's a matter of, you know, how your brain works, kind of. For me, if it's out of sight, it's out of mind. I don't use it. Like, I've said this before, but I used to have a lot of wood cabinetry in here with doors. I never end up looking in, I don't end up opening the, the doors or the drawers. I just don't look in them. So I have a lot of kind of open storage. And I know for a lot of people, they're like, look at all that clutter. Oh my gosh, I can't, I just can't, I can't, I just can't. Totally fine. You can have a clean desk and you can put all your stuff away. For me, I love all my goodies out and right at my fingertips. That's how I work. That cre that inspires creativity for me when I see it all. And then I'm like, oh, I want to use this. And oh, let's grab that. And what if I use that color? And so if it's out, man, I'm using it. And I love it. And that's what sparks all of my creativity. Yeah, right, Louise? It's like behind a door, it's just gone. And uh, like I said, if you need it neat and tidy and put away and behind a door, you go for it, and that's totally fine. I'm not saying I'm right. I'm saying this is what works for me. Tiffany Pockets. Yes, Louise. Um, I think I have something stored. Is it Tiffany? I don't know. There's some other company that I have that I like for, like, 6x6 six six paper that I store in there. But for the 6x7 six magnet cards, I like the stamp and storage envelopes as well. Oh, hello from France. How exciting. Let's see, I'm just scrolling back. I think there was a comment. Yes, you can label your drawers. Absolutely, Donna. Hi, Deb. Yes, Kathy, that's another great solution. And I believe Stampin' Storage actually has some solutions for that to store your dies with your stamp sets. That is a solution as well. How long do I keep the stamp sets, Mary is asking. When they retire, they go in, there's a pile, of, I was going to say in a box. Okay, there's a pile of boxes. And I either donate them or sell them or I put them in mystery boxes. I do not keep retired stamp sets because as a business demonstrator, like I said, I depend on the sales from current products. So, yeah, I don't keep them. Let's see. Okay, I'm just sorry, I'm just scrolling back here. Hello, New Zealand. Hi, Liz. Hi, Donna and Susie and Don and Linda. Okay, Linda, we're just getting started. So um, you didn't miss much. <laughs> she said, I'm going to watch the replay. We just kind of started here. So let's move on because there's a lot to cover. Another one of my favorite bundles, and it's actually what's featured here on the cover is called Painted Christmas. The suite is called Painted Christmas. And it has a couple of stamp sets and a couple sets of dies. This is one of the stamp sets and it's going to make beautiful, beautiful cards and projects. I'm mostly a card maker, so if you just keep hearing me say cards, that's why. And what I love about the coordinating bundle is that not only does it cut out those pine cones and leaves and whatnot, but look at all those labels. <gasps> those are like delicious. I love these shapes. I just love those. So that is a like a double set because it took two magnet sheets. So that's a bundle that I love. And I showed you this briefly, but... I just wanted to say, if you know me well, you would probably have guessed that this is not a set that I would purchase. It's called Peaceful Cabin, and it has this beautiful cabin and trees and a couple of sayings and a fence, and then the dies. Okay, so you would think, meh, I'm not sure if that's her style. And that's what I thought when I saw it, but I promise you, 
when you start working with this and you stamp this and you die cut it with these dies and you die cut these trees, you will say, whoa. So we're going to have to do like a whole video on cards with this because it's amazing. So just kind of goes to show you that you can't always just, you know, like, I, you know, not judge a book by its cover, but you know what I mean? Like you can't just glance at it and be like, meh. Sometimes you have to give things a chance, right? <laughs> yes, love those label dies. Exactly. Okay, sorry, just glancing back, see if there was any. Yes, Tracy, if you're low on space, then donate your things, um, sell them, put them in mystery boxes, gift them to a crafty friend. Yeah, it, it does help if you're low on space. Exactly. Okay, let, let's move on. This is so amazing. You've heard me talk about these hybrid uh, bundles. So Merriest Moments stamp set, which I mean, I love this. Like just if that's all it was, I love this, but it gets better. There is a double set of dies. So some of those images can be die cut. And then this big one, I have to show you what this does. I took some of, can you see the shimmer? Yeah. I took some of the shimmer vellum. And I, first I am, oh, did I show you? There's also an embossing folder. So this one right here. All I did was put the shimmer vellum in the embossing folder, and so then you get this. If you just cut a rectangle and you emboss it. Gorgeous, right? Okay. Then, if you use the outline die after it's embossed, it die cuts the outline. If you use the detail die, it cuts all the details. Look at the versatility of this. Oh my gosh. Now, it doesn't have to be on vellum. I just thought that it was so pretty. Isn't it? You can see the shimmer there. I mean, right? Gorgeous. So that is using the hybrid embossing folder with the dies. And there's so many different combinations and ways that you can use it. And of course, you can incorporate the stamps and you can die cut them and you can layer them. Oh my goodness, like this makes my heart go pitter-patter, but I just had to show you that. Isn't that so beautiful and amazing? Oh my gosh, love, love, love. And the vellum is in the annual catalog. This is all the in colors. So if you don't have this pack yet, you need to run and get a pack of this. It's like gorgeous, stunning. Yes. Oh, <laughs> Louise said I was trying not to buy that one. <laughs> you need it. <laughs> it's so gorgeous. Yes, Tammy, it is brilliant. And so they also had, remember the seashells? So th this one was similar. And then there's one in the current annual catalog that is similar as well with um, its flowers, right? Like my mind, sir, sorry, my mind just sort of went blank. But um, yeah, so there's there's that set as well. Uh, you're welcome. I'm glad you liked it. I'm glad you liked that. Yeah, the blend, blending brush holders from Stampin' Storage. And if you want to use my link, then um, you can use the links that are on my blog or I will put them at, in the description of this video when we are done. <laughs> Marcy says, anyone smell the smoke coming from my wallet? <laughs> Or from my fingers, because I can't wait to make more things, right? One more cute thing. I wanted to show you this. Oh, where does my... Hang on. I have a little... Where did it go? Okay, I wanted to show you my samples with this. I'm not kidding. If you saw my desk... Oh my gosh, there's stuff everywhere. Oh, heavens. Hang on. Hang on. Well, here's one. This is not the one I was 
was thinking of, but I wanted to show you how cute this little pillow box is. So this is also in the holiday catalog in the gingerbread suite. Isn't this adorable? And it opens this way and you can put treats inside. Isn't that cute? My friend Melanie made this particular one. I was going to show you some other ones, but um, I think I forgot to bring them over here. So just wanted to show you that, that this is super, super cute. Okay, uh, let's look. I have all the celebration stuff I want to show you. Uh, that celebration. Oh, here. I did have this out. So, yeah, 6x7 magnet cards from Stampin' Storage and the 6x7 pockets. So that's what I've been showing you. That's what I use from Stampin' Storage. And I will post that link. So this is what it would look like. And there, these are on sale today, I think, through Monday. So I put my link up above in this same page for the, um, the link to those for the discount. Yay! Okay, let's look at some of the ribbons. I want to show you some of the ribbons from this holiday catalog. And I just left some hanging out so you could kind of see. So we have red ruffled. And then we have this pink that is so soft. And it has, can you see the little frayed edges? Isn't that fun? Kind of little fraying on the edge. But it's super soft. I was worried that it might be stiff. I don't like really stiff ribbon because it's too hard to tie and it's too bulky. But these are both very soft, very pretty. And it's just, if you're wondering, here's how I usually store my ribbon. So I have these little mini binder clips and I think either Stampin' Up! had them in a kit or a paper pumpkin or they sold them. I don't remember, but that's what I use. And so I just clip the end so that they're, these don't like go all over. And I have them in a drawer so they're stacked up like this by color. But just for this video, I pulled out about six inches of each one just so you could see the ribbon. Oh, this one I haven't opened yet. It is called, oh, I can't read it in German, Diamond Weave Ribbon. We have had something similar before. It's kind of a, um, just a natural kind of a lace ribbon. And then, oh my goodness, gorgeous. Look at the sparkle and the shimmer. Isn't this pretty? So this white ribbon, I just love this. And it is just called White glitter organdy ribbon. Gorgeous. All year long. And this one is officially called Cherry Cobbler and Gold. This has to be one of my favorites. Look at the shimmer on this. Is that just, oh my gosh, stunning. Reminds me a little bit of the white and the vanilla ribbon that we had that some were silver and some were gold. But look how pretty. And this is super, super pliable, which I love. I think I might need to wrap a few gifts with that. Let's see. Hang on. Just looking for any questions. Hybrid blooms. Thank you, PJ. Yes. Um, oh, good. I'm glad you like the ribbon idea. Yes, Deb. Frayed ribbon on the pink. Now, this one is super similar to the um, cherry cobbler that I just showed you. Look how pretty. Look how gorgeous, but it's just all gold. And so this is called, well, it says gold. It's called Gold Shimmer Ribbon. Beautiful, beautiful. And then two more to show you. This is called Pool Party Striped Grow Grain. So you have the blue and the white stripes. And again, it is very thin. And I don't mean like cheap thin. I'm just saying it's thin enough to tie. So I think that's a good thing. And then this, I don't know if this could be my favorite. It's just adorable. Look at this black and white gingham. And in a previous video, we colored this with, I think I used Granny Apple Green. I used Calypso Coral, maybe Pumpkin Pie. And we colored it and it turns out adorable. So lots of possibilities with that. So I wanted to show you those. And then... This is pretty amazing and had to look up how to say this. It's pronounced cloche. 
That's what one of these domes are called. And I actually have several of these real glass domes downstairs. I have four pocket watches from my great grandfather and my great great aunts. And they are all under these domes. There, there's a little hook and then the pocket watches are hanging in them. Um, like just, I don't know, a little side note. So my great grandfather was a conductor on the railroad in Utah. And so he had his pocket watch to keep the trains on time. And I now have it. And then my great, great aunts were nurses. And back, you know, in the day, back way back when, turn of the, the night, like around 1900s, they had their pocket watches so that they could take the blood pressure and count the pulse of the patient while they watched their um, pocket watch. So anyway, I have four of those and they're in these domes and it's called a cloche. So they're, I don't know, that's neither here nor there exactly. You're like, get on with the products. But anyway, this die set coordinates with two different stamp sets. This one is towards the beginning of the catalog and it's got these adorable, cute little treats. Look how cute that pie and that cupcake. And then you could use that at Halloween, the, the um, caramel apple, right? And then this set also coordinates and it has these neat pieces that are, make like a little scene. So you have your uh, town and your trees or your birds and you can put that inside the dome. And then there are also the domes. So there are the domes and you can use the die. So let's look at, almost did that backwards. So here's the die. So you can see that it will cut out that shape so that when you want to make a little scene, you could do a shaker, a card, an ornament, you would just use this and this die, and then you could fill it with whatever. You can put the pie in there, you can put the, the winter scene, whatever you want, but didn't want you to miss that both of these are a great coordination to go with the dies and the domes. And I think that's really fun that it all just coordinates together. So yeah, just they're both, I was just looking, they're both photopolymer. And one of them comes in the bundle and then one, you would just buy the other one separately. But I thought that was just something really different and fun. I liked that a lot. <laughs> Marcy says, you will not make me buy those, I think. <laughs> yes, and the penguin fits in the dome. Yes, 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 Betty, it does. It'll be so cute. Oh, thank you, Flo. She says, I'm new to you and enjoying you and your ideas so much. Thanks, Flo. I do weekly videos here on Fridays at 11 o'clock Pacific time. And usually my camera is pointing down and you're watching me craft a project while I give you some tips. But today I just wanted to show you all these new products that are coming out on August 3rd. So I am so glad that you... um you found me. Shauna says, my grandfather was an engineer in Utah. wonder if they knew each other. So let's see. I'm trying to think. Let me do some math. So it would have been around the 1920s, 30s, 40s is when he would have been an engineer. So Shauna, I'm not sure if that fits with your timing, but Tracy says we still use our watches to take pulses, but not a, a pocket watch, right? Not the, you know, the round one where it flips open, right? And it's hanging from a chain and you take it out of your pocket. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's see. Yes, I love the penguins too, Shauna. They are so cute. We went over those at the beginning of the video. Hi, Diane. Aloha from Hawaii. Hello. Hi, Shirley. All right. So we went through that. And then uh, while this is not in the holiday catalog, it's in the annual catalog, but not to be missed, this tidings and trimmings bundle is amazing. And I just took a class from Melanie online and we made some really cute projects 
Um, this idea of this cute little bag was from Melanie. This will be on my blog soon with the measurements. But this cute star is from that Tidings and Trimmings. And I wanted to show you this paper. We're going to move into the celebration gifts now. Is part of the celebration offering. So this is called Peaceful Prints. And this is one of the celebration gift choices when you have a $50 order. Love all of these prints. And then here is the back. Whoops. Here is the back. Really great traditional uh, colors, but patterns as well. Love these. And that's what I used to make this cute little bag. So this is going to be on my blog really soon. But I wanted to show you that paper. And then I wanted to show you that I couldn't resist. And this was one of the cute projects we worked on as well. Making one of the pinwheel tower cards with that fun paper. So this paper is in the annual catalog. This is one of the free items. So those are two different things. But just wanted to show you just so much cuteness. Love all of these ideas. All right, so that was Tidings and Trimmings from Annual. So let's move into celebration. Now, I need to say something for anyone who's new. Every year, I get people saying that they want to order from celebration. Okay, this is a mini catalog. It's not the celebration catalog. This is the celebration catalog, and it has your free items in it. Now, since I am taping, or this is live in July, I can't open and show you the inside, okay? But it has your free gifts, and I'm going to show you the rest of those. So we looked at some of the paper already. I'm going to show you the rest of the things here. You can purchase any Stampin' Up! products from the annual catalog, the clearance rack, or the holiday catalog to earn free gifts from here. And the dates are on the front, August 3rd to September 30th. So you pick free goodies out of here when you order out of everything else, okay? And you can also order prepaid paper pumpkin subscriptions and get free gifts. So it's a great time to shop, August 3rd through September 30th. Uh, let's see. Rewatch. Yes, Cindy, you're welcome to rewatch from the beginning. Yeah, the Blackberry, Blackberry Beauty paper is not yet available. So that's going to be sort of an issue. I wish it would come in stock. <laughs> so I wanted to show you some of the free gifts in the Celebration catalog. Some of them, if they are a, a higher value gift, are free with a $100 order. The other things, if it's a lower value gift, they are free with a $50 order. So I want to just start with one of my favorites. It's called Delicate Dahlias because you know me, flower girl. I mean, you can tell. I always have fresh flowers here in my craft room. I love flowers. I love to stamp with flowers. This set is so cool. I want to show you something about this. So this is a free item with a $100 order starting on August 3rd. <laughs> prepaid paper pumpkin subscription. Say that five times fast. Nope, I'll just say it once. <laughs> okay, I wanted to show you something super interesting about this. There's three different ways that you can stamp this flower. And I wanted to go over that with you. So first, if you just stamp the outline, do you see the outline right there, then you could get something like this. If you stamp the outline and you stamp the this inside part, then you would get this. What I love about this, doesn't it already look like you cut and layered this because of all those lights and darks? but it's not. That's just one stamp right on the paper. 
I didn't do anything else. This stamp does all the work for you. And if you just use this part and no outline, then you get that beautiful image. Like, this is so versatile, so beautiful. I think this is amazing. Oh, thank you. Somebody said nice Dahlia cards. Thank you. Oh, Marcy says the Dahlia samples in the brochure don't do it justice. Let me look. Oh, well, I actually love that sample. They have a gorgeous sample in here, but they have stamped it and cut it out three times, and that's a lot of cutting. So I just stamped it right onto the scallop contour die and went kind of quick. <laughs> um, let me show you one fun thing. We did this a few weeks ago on a video, but do you see this ribbon and see how well it coordinates with the pear pizzazz cardstock? I want to show you what I did. This is the soft succulent ribbon. I colored it. Let's, let me. That doesn't help. Wait a minute. I need white. I need white. Here we go. Okay. Now you can see this. I colored the soft succulent ribbon with my granny, no, old olive marker. Do you see that? And what it did was it made it almost exactly pear pizzazz. How cool is that? I love that. Love, love, love. So pretty. So, yeah, I thought that was cool. So I just wanted to show you that. That's the dahlia, that tip. Okay, making sure I cover it all. Uh, oh, gosh, I have a whole other box over here. We got to get cooking. Okay, put that over here. Let's see. Oh, tips on lining up the dahlia. Yes. So what I did... So, okay, I'm gonna, I don't know if I can get my fingers right here and here. Where I'm pointing, like those three little right there, I looked at that, and then I looked at the top at these three little ones. They're opposite each other. And that really allowed me to line up the stamp perfectly. Now, one tip is when you put these on your clear block, Thank you, UPS delivering Stampin' Up! goodies. <laughs> when you put these on your block, once you kind of find that, I call it like a registration mark, once you kind of see that those line up and those line up, put them on your block the same direction. So don't have one like tilted and one like this because then it's harder. So if they're going the same direction on the two blocks, it's easier to just stamp them on top of each other. Um, I will have to do a video with that, right? Oh, good, Louise. Glad you like that about the ribbon. Awesome. Okay, another free item in celebration is this stamp set. Now, I'm not feeling totally creative with this yet. I'm going to have to play with it. It is called Textures and Frames. Inspire me, someone. <laughs> I'm going to have to get inspired with that one. This, I cannot wait to watercolor. Look how gorgeous this is. Kind of reminds me, we had a set a couple years ago. I think it was a million dollar Achiever set. And it was different scenes like a Paris Street, I think. I can't remember all of them, but I loved watercoloring it. So I can't wait to watercolor this. It's called Feels Like Home. It's just beautiful. And the greetings are really lovely as well. So that is a free set that you can pick. Counting sheep. Look how cute is this? It's so funny because, you know, we've had penguins and we've had chickens and we've had all these different animals. So now we're on to sheep. <laughs> really cute. And what's neat is that this set has dies that you can get separately. So it's not a bundle where you have to have a super huge order to get this. You can have an order and you can get this and then maybe on your next order you can get that. Or if your order is larger, you could get them both. But I like that they're separate. And what's super fun about this is, look, so this could be clouds or it could be like little hills. 
and they have a balloon and a party hat and a little flag so they can like he could be waving the flag these two could be wearing the party hat they could he could be holding the balloon and then there's a sunshine and look at that fence that fence is awesome because i'm thinking you could do that with some halloween things or some fall things and so that one i think is really versatile so really cool Oh, Olympic rings. I just saw that comment go by. So yes, this could be Olympic rings. Totally great idea. Who said that? Let's see. Tammy. Yes. Great suggestion. Yes. Uh, we talked about that at the beginning. Uh, Mitsuki. So this is from Stampin' and Storage. And if you want to watch the replay, you can get all the details, but it's from Stampin' and Storage. If you go to my blog, uh, pattystamps.com, and you click up at the top, my craft room, you will find links for that and for all of my other storage items. Use the little accents with the penguins. Yes, great idea. Great idea. Flag. Did I call it the wrong thing? Sorry, maybe I called it something else. Sorry about that. All right. Yes, donkeys, goats, cows, horses, and now we have sheep. <laughs> you could have an entire farm. <laughs> One of the other very cool products for celebration is this pack of glimmer paper. There are eight sheets. They're six by six. And we used this, I believe, in a previous video. I colored on it with blends. You can do that. That dries pretty quickly. I have not tried stamping, but the people I've seen that have stamped on this have said it takes forever to dry or you have to use a heat tool. But coloring with Stampin' Blend, since they're alcohol-based, it evaporates quickly and you can color on it with Stampin' Blend. Or you could just like cut a strip and make a little um, accent piece or you can die cut or punch or whatever. There is a little, um, not a, a warning, but a blurb in here that says that it can dull your blade or your dies. So j just, just to be aware, I don't want you to say, well, Patty said we could die cut it. Yes, you can, but it could dull your dies and it can dull your cutting blade. Uh, Leticia Hernandez has a great tip on our trimmer. She keeps a blade and she, I don't know how she marks it, maybe an X or something. And when she wants to cut something like this, she puts that blade in her trimmer and she cuts and then she takes it out and she only uses it for things like this or maybe like when cutting um, adhesive paper, the adhesive sheets or anything that might damage your blade. So that's also a great tip as well. Um, Yes, Heather, it does kind of like it assumes the colors that it's with. You're right. That's also true. Let's see. Just checking if I missed any comments. Oh, and hippos. Oh, my goodness. Oh, Kathy, I get it. Yes. So those shapes, you could make a flag. Sorry, I thought I had said like the wrong thing. Thank you. Um, it did not really damage my marker tips, not any more than uh, coloring on like your rhinestones or things like that. So I didn't notice that. Okay, one other, two more celebration things I wanted to show you. And I did this in a video last week, so I'm not going to spend too much time on this. But these dies, I'm going to show you the dies and what they cut are available as a celebration gift and it coordinates with shaded summer this is for sale in the annual catalog so this is something that you can buy and then this is something that you can earn free and it coordinates with that so that you can cut out the images and if you missed it um was it last week or two weeks ago, I did a whole video all on this. So you might want to look at last week's video. So that's that. And then another celebration item before we go on to my other bucket of fun right here. This is called, what is this called? Let me look. I'll show you while I'm looking. 
this package of paper, I'm going to give you the official name, beautifully penned. And you know me, I love flowers, so I love everything about this. <laughs> That's one side, and there's the other side. And I would say black and white, but really, in reality, I would call this charcoal and white because it's more of a, a charcoal gray, dark gray, than it is a black. But, I mean, you can still say it's black and white, but you know what I mean. I love this. You can color on this. You could spritz it. You can use blending brushes on it. There's lots of things you can do to color it if you don't want just the black and white. But it's beautiful. And there are three, four sheets of each one. So they're 12 by 12. So you would get four sheets of this. You would get four sheets of that and four sheets of that. So that's why I'm only showing you three samples. It's a, a different kind of a packaging, and I like that a lot. I like that. So I think, so we did the Penguin Paper, the Glimmer Paper, the Feels Like Home set, that paper I just showed you, Peaceful Prints, the Sheep and the Dyes, the set that we're going to use for Olympic Rings, <laughs> and the Dahlias and the Summer Shadows. So those are the free gifts that are available. And I would be remiss if I did not tell you that if you would like to sign up as a Stampin' Up! demonstrator to enjoy the discount and the ordering early and all of that, during celebration there is a list of bundles from the catalog that you can get for free. You get one, you pick one, but you can pick from this list and you can add that to your starter kit. Um, I have more samples, so don't tune off. Don't think I'm like just ending with a commercial. I have more to show you here. Um, what was my train of thought? So if you want to sign up to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator, you can simply enjoy the discount and my group. We have 475 members all across the U.S. I think we have somebody in all 50 states right now. And you can just simply enjoy camaraderie, friendship, ideas, ordering early, and the discount. Or you can build a business. Uh, you can do anything in between. You can teach one class a year. You can teach a class a week. You can do Facebook Lives. You can do no Facebook Lives. You can do whatever you'd like as your Stampin' Up! demonstrator business. So... I would love to have you join my team if you don't already work with a demonstrator and if you are thinking about it. So hope that is interesting to you. Kangaroos and walruses, walruses and polar bears. Yeah, we have the entire animal kingdom now, don't we? <laughs> oh, thank you, Marcy. Marcy is part of my Love to Stamp group. She says, best group ever. So kind of you. Oh, good. that is great. Kathy says, a great trivia question. How many animal stamp sets are there? <laughs> okay, let me show you some more goodies here from the holiday catalog. This, I'm super excited to show you this because this is something that just sort of came to me and I went, oh my gosh, this is so cool. All right. It's an embossing folder called Timber. Can you see? It just has like wood grain. See the knots and the wood grain in there? So the first thing I did was I just got out um, cardstock from Kate Cardstock and I embossed it. And I was like, wow, okay, that's really cool. Like I would probably sponge a little bit on there to pick up sort of the raised areas. Very cool, right? Then I had this idea. Okay, check this out. I took the wood grain paper from In Good Taste, that's a package of designer paper that we sell in the annual catalog, and I ran it through the embossing folder. Do you see the difference? That's like the same piece, probably goes this way, that's like the same piece embossed. Oh my gosh, this looks like somebody just took real wood and shaved off a piece. It's so cool. It's so cool. And so then I took this one from In Good Taste and I embossed that as well. It's going to be a little harder to see just because it's dark. But do you see that? 
I think you can see it. So cool. And that brings me to my uh, second commercial of the day. <laughs> it's part of the sale. So In Good Taste is 15% off right now through August 2nd. And it's like a mega pack of paper. It's double a regular pack. And so it has tons of sheets in it, and it is on sale for $17.85. And it's got beautiful patterns that you can do things like that with. So do you like that? Now, I don't know if you saw, but that's what the background of these three Dahlia cards are. So it is the In Good Taste wood grain with the embossed. It's hard to see, but that's what I did. And this, this was sort of like out of my normal wheelhouse to do that, to pair a flower with that. But I really thought it was cool. I just thought it's nature. It, it just, I don't know. What do you think? It's different, right? I thought it was really cool. So that again is called Timber. And this will be available August 3rd in the holiday catalog but you can get that In Good Taste paper on sale now through August 2nd. Um, oh, good. Kathy says it's getting her creative ideas flowing. Oh, yeah. Cindy says she likes that folder. Thanks. I'm glad you like it. Oh, thank you, Debbie. Glad you like the tip. Thank you. Yep. On sale. Awesome. Okay. Glad you liked that. Next embossing folder that's new, I want to show you. It's called Star Crossed, and it, it's, uh, it's so different. It's got this diagonal right down the middle, so it does two different embossed ideas on one piece of paper. Who thinks of these amazing things? Not me. <laughs> yes, I did do a purple flower, Tammy. <laughs> that's out of my normal wheelhouse as well. Okay, let me show you this one called Time Worn. It's very hard to see in the catalog. It looks like a little bit of a mess, right? It's like, what is that? It's really pretty. I did it in vanilla and in gray just to sort of get a feel for what it looks like. And it's kind of like maybe you found some old paper or an old book and it, it was maybe you had been wrinkled or water spotted or whatever but that's kind of what it looks like but it's very cool now this I'm pretty sure I'm going to want to add a little sponging to or just uh, some color to pick up that texture but again that's what that one looks like oh okay Betty says she missed that folder yes it does look like two full folders thank you Carolyn she says I love how you find these things and take it up a notch Bam. Emerald Lagasse. <laughs> oh, okay. Rosemary says uh, the music folder. Here's That's up next. So here's the music folder called Merry Melody. And here was my first idea. Now, I don't know if this is like weird, but I was wondering about just doing it in black because you know how music notes are black. And I thought, mm, I kind of like that. I think that's kind of cool. And then I just thought, well, let's go subtle. And so I did So Saffron. And I think that's really nice. I think with red and green, that could look really neat. And then I was like, well, let's punch it way up and let's do gold. <laughs> what do you think? So yeah, that's the gold foil paper. So there's three ideas with that for you. And I think they are all pretty amazing. Here's a tip for you. If you're kind of stuck, who was who who had asked that? Um I'm sorry, I lost that comment already. Somebody was saying that they were stuck on this folder. Grab some quarter sheets or four by six or whatever you want of different colors and just emboss and put them down in front of you, and then you can say, like, oh, that gives me an idea. But if you just stare at the folder, yeah, it is hard to get inspired, but I love to just get out some random colors and kind of go from there. 
I did want to tell you, when you buy an embossing folder, on the back, there are some tips. And you might want, instead of just tossing this, like, like I may have done in the past, you might want to read those because there are some tips about like if you're getting some breaking or some cracking that you can spritz it with water or you can bend or curl the paper first. I was like, oh, who knew? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> um, let's see. Oh, I didn't even think about birthday cards, Leticia, for the music folder. How fun would that be? Happy birthday to you, right? That would be fun. That's a great idea. Couple more. Oh, wait, I want to show you this one. But no, it doesn't matter. A uh, couple more things I want to show you. I am a sucker for uh, embellishments and dots and all the things that you can stick on things. Like I, that's just part of my favorite part of the catalog. The matte decorative dots in the new catalog. Love these. Let me show you a full pack. Here's what's, let me do it this way so you can see. Here's what's really cool is that in each of the four colors, they have started with the dark, darkest color. And if you go diagonal, you'll get to the lightest color. So there are all these different shades of one color. And I think this is really cool so that it's not like, oh my gosh, I have 50 of the red dots. Well, you, you kind of have like all the way from cherry cobbler up to almost a pink. And so I think this is really cool. I love these dots. So I have almost used up an entire pack plus of these. So these are cool. The brushed metallic dots are beautiful. So there are gold, copper, and bronze in here. I'm just going to go back to those dahlias. I don't know if anybody noticed. I put them in the center of the flower because I found a color for each one that sort of picked up the coloring of the, um, the feel of the card. So I did that in the center of all of them. And I, I thought that was a really kind of a cool treat. Where did my, ah, right here. And by the way, I should show you this. So I take a cello bag either from the packaging or just a, an extra cello. And I use my brother P-Touch to label these, just like you saw the labels on my dies and my embossing folders. And then I have them, you guys have probably seen this a million times, but I'll just show you. So this sits in front of me on my desk with all of the embellishments. And this is from the container store. You can probably get this online as well. Let me see if it's from Inter Design, I-N-T-E-R Design. And you can find this brand on Amazon. So do you see? Do you see there's these three dividers? So that kind of keeps everything standing up. Again, like we were talking about several minutes ago, out of sight, out of mind. If those are put away in a drawer, I'm never going to use them. They're right here. They're, I'm right-handed. They're right at my right-hand side. I use these all the time. I am an absolute sucker for embellishments. Love them. The wonderful gems came back. So we have the red with sparkles and the clear with gold sparkles. Love that. We had these last year and they came back and I'm so happy because I love these. So these are called Wonderful Gems. So those are back. Oh, the song on the music folder is Joy to the World. Thank you. I did not know that. I didn't know. Oh, Leticia said there are clear containers similar to that at Costco. That is great to know. And then Cute Stars. These are cute. So three different colors and they're sort of iridescent-y. I'm sure you could also color them. So if you had Stampin' Blends, you could probably make similar colors. Um, should you keep them in the plastic? Oh, like, 
So for instance, if I pull this out, this is no longer in the plastic. So I'm feeling those right there. The full pack behind it is in its plastic envelope. You can see that it's shiny, but that's just my preference. I like to be able to just pull this out and use it. I don't want to take it in and out of the envelope each time. That's just my preference. So it's just, you know, inside this envelope, but without its little container. I think, is that what you mean? I'm guessing that's what you were asking. Yes, Dollar Tree has lots of great containers. And if you have a Target near you, the Dollar Spot at Target currently has a cute little organizer as well. It's more like a horizontal with little sections, but it would work perfectly for that. Hi, Jason. Welcome. Welcome. I'm almost just almost done here. Just wrapping up. One more really cool. I'm afraid if I open this, they're going to spill. We'll do our best here. These gold holly leaves are brilliant. I love them. They're really thin, so they don't add bulk to your packaging, to your, well, your packaging or your card. From the catalog, I thought it looked like these were puffy almost, and they're not. These are great. Love those. There is a new set of masks in, wait, that's not the new one. This is the new one. That's not the new one. This is the new one. <laughs> it's called adorning designs and I wanted to show you something that I discovered when I was putting all my dies onto my magnet cards and you know these are the kind of envelopes that some of our die well our dies come in these envelopes some are this size like six by six some are tall and skinny and I realized that our masks fit perfectly in the larger one so since I don't need these after I put my dies into those other pockets, so I have, there's two from the annual catalog, and then we have this one from the holiday catalog. So I was just putting them each into one of these envelopes. So there's the regular size that most of our dies come in, and this is the other size. You can see they're different. So just wanted to show you that tip. Oh, this is that tombstone box I showed you way in the beginning where I cut that part off just to make it a regular box. So that was that. They come flat. So here's how the tombstone box comes. There are two different sizes. So when you get these, make sure, I want to show you that. So I'm lining, lining it up at the bottom and then you can see one is a little bit taller. So the bigger one is your lid, and then the other one is the bottom half. So do note that. Check out these beautiful shimmer snowflakes. These are also in the holiday catalog. Can't wait to use these. And then the other thing I had out here is the Blackberry Beauty Ephemera Pack. And there are all sorts of gorgeous die cut printed pieces in here. Just going to show you a couple of these. These are just going to be fabulous for fall, but I'm thinking really you could use a lot of these into Christmas as well, because a lot of people do love sort of those richer colors with the gold for Christmas. So that is just, I need a breath. <laughs> That is just a few of my favorite things. I still have boxes down here. But if we went through everything, you'd need to grab your dinner and your sleeping bag and breakfast for tomorrow. So we are not going to do all that. But let me just wrap up by saying thank you for joining me. And if you stuck with me this long, thank you for sticking with me. We went through some of my favorite things from the upcoming holiday catalog. This starts August 3rd, 2021. We went through all of the free items in the celebration brochure. This also starts August 3rd. It goes through the end of September. So when you purchase from the Stampin' Up! annual catalog, the clearance rack, or this new holiday catalog, you are earning free celebration gifts. And those are found in here. 
if you do not have a demonstrator, I would love to be your demonstrator. I have been one for over 26 years. This is my full-time job. I support a team of demonstrators all across the U.S., 475 people, and I support a couple thousand customers. <laughs> so this is definitely a full-time job, and I love doing what I do. You can jump over to pattystamps.com to find my blog, and that's where you will find links to request a catalog or to order from me or my projects that I post each day, all of that. Let's see. Uh, oh, you're welcome. Shannon says, thanks for the tips and ideas. She's inspired. Thank you. You're welcome, Debbie. Thanks, Amy. I'm so glad that you enjoyed all the tips. Thank you, Tina, Mary, everybody. Thank you. Now, if I missed your question, I hope you're still here. Please type your question in now. I'm going to hang out a minute and answer your questions if you had questions. <laughs> Debbie says she'll be reorganizing this weekend. You know, I think reorganizing in the craft room is never ending. I am always finding a new way to organize or put something or move it over here or whatever. And all of my most used things I try to keep on my right side because I'm right-handed and it's easy for me to grab. So that's just another little tip. But uh, most used things are right in front of me. You're welcome, everyone. Yeah, I'm sorry this was so long. <laughs> oh my goodness, so many things. But like I said, we could have been here forever. So keep an eye on my blog, pattystamps.com for more samples, tips, ideas, all of these products, they were they will be there and I will just enjoy sharing with you so much. Will the snowflakes fit in the tall slender die envelope? Well, not the package cuz here's here's the envelope. But you could cut it in half this way cut the package in half oh if you're really careful those are pretty close wait what if you did that no it's oh. I don't know if you were really careful you could cut the sheet here and like those four would fit and then you could put that in so that's a possibility I think you might be better off in the larger one. I don't know. You could play with that and see. Where does your six? Oh, my six by six is in a bucket right here. It's just a plastic container. So my six by six paper goes there. My 12 by 12 DSP is here. And then all of my eight and a half by 11 is there. So again, right at my fingertips, right next to me. Oh, thank you, Tammy. She says, worth every minute. And I get to have lunch with Tammy when we're done. <laughs> yay. Yay, yay, yay. Let's see. Oh, again, I, let me uh, show you again. The container with my embellishments is this. I don't know if you can see. Let me see if I can. See that? It's called InterDesign. That's what their logo looks like. If you type Inter Design on Amazon, you will find all of their products. I am pretty sure. <laughs> Marcy says jealous. Yeah, I am totally looking forward to lunch. I'm starving. All right. I don't see any other questions coming through, but thank you for hanging out with me. I love chatting with you on Fridays. I hope you enjoyed and maybe you got some ideas. Maybe you got some inspiration. Maybe you saw something that you missed or wasn't sure how to use, but I hope that you enjoyed it all. Ha <laughs> ha, Leticia says, where are we meeting for lunch? How quick can you get up here? <laughs> You're welcome to come. I think we're going to Embers. <laughs> um, okay. So thank you, everybody. I will see you next week. We will probably go over some more new products next week and more ideas. And I can't wait to see what you all start to order on August 3rd. Thanks again. Bye.